Welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about drugs interactions and we'll use some examples to help us understand this better. First off, we have addition. Addition basically means that the action of drug A is added to the action of drug B with no change in the total effect or no increase in the total effect. And the example we have is aspirin can cause blood thinning, acetaminophen can cause analgesia, but when you use aspirin and acetaminophen, the effect is blood thinning plus analgesia. So there is no new effect. Each drug can work independently. Next off, we have permission. So we can say that the drug has permissive ability when the action of drug A is greatly increased by the presence of drug B. So for example, if, if we say that epinephrine can cause 40% vasoconstriction, this is just an example. Epinephrine in the presence of cortisol can cause 70% vasoconstriction. Next off, we have synergistic effects. It basically means that the action of drug A and drug B together is greater than the sum of them apart. For example, aspirin can cause 30% blood thinning, and clopidogrel grill can cause 30% blood thinning, but together they cause 90% blood thinning instead of 60. Finally, we have tachyphylactic, which basically means tolerance. The more you use the drug, the more you can, the more your body tolerates it, and the higher the dose you need to achieve the same effect. Alright guys, so that's everything I've got today, and hopefully I made this easier for you, and see you guys later.